This is the All Saints Bible Study, where the Word of God is alive with power. If you would, please join me in a word of prayer. Our God, our Fathers, through you we move and we have our being. Lord, as we approach your Word, it is our prayer we're able to glean the true intent of the Scripture. And therefore, we are empowered to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. This we pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Well, it's Thursday and it's time to go to the word of God. I want to go to the gospel according St. Matthew, the fifth chapter, and just one verse, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Powerful scripture. It's a powerful scripture pointing to the fact that Jesus is teaching that our lives is a light. The fact that we have a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ and that we are spirit-filled believers. Every believer has light. What I like about this not only does every believer have light, but the light in each different believer has a specific purpose, specific brilliance, specific illumination. Jesus is saying that through our lives, we point to the goodness of God. We glorify God. We actually confirm that God is, God is alive. So I really believe many times the Lord places many of us in different situations and therefore the context drives the specific or the reason that we are to illuminate the context which will point to the true and the living God. I hasten to say that every person has a unique brilliance. Every, in every believer has a unique brilliance, just as there are different lights. We have halogen lights, we have fluorescent lights, we have traditional light bulbs, we have headlights in cars. All these lights, they have a specific purpose. A light bulb, as we know, illuminates a room. Headlights in your vehicle illuminates the path before your car as you're driving at night. Fluorescent lights, they also illuminate a room as well. So each believer, so we have to, each believer, we must embrace what God wants us to do. It is so, it is so important that we are in tune with God's will for our lives. And many times we look to other individuals, we look to other ministries, and we want to be like them. We want to be, we want to have a ministry like another ministry, but that's not necessarily the will of God. God being a sovereign God, he alone determines what our purpose is. He alone determines how our light is to illuminate the world. And we're living in a world now that it needs the illumination so that the world can perceive and through the experience of the light, realize that God does exist. Not only does God exist, but there is a will of God and there is a sovereign God. The world must see that through the believer. And so when you look at that, the believer is important for this world. The church is so important for this world. And so if we embrace the light that God has given us and allow it to shine, then it is, as some people even say, mission accomplished. So let us not hide the light. You know, one way we can hide the light is if we're trying to be like someone else. If, they want, if we want to function in ministry like someone else, 
we're really hiding our light and we're not really understanding the light that God has given us. So it's, it's, it's important to understand God's will for your life. Understand the light that he has given you. Understand where he wants you to be. And this light that God's give to every believer, everyone is not the same. This light that he gives you is not determined by a tradition. It's not even determined by our own expectations. But since we serve a sovereign God, God determines what light you are to have, where you are to allow it to illuminate. So if we understand this, if we get a good, clear understanding of this light, the world is in, in a fallen condition. The world is in a state of sin. Therefore, darkness covers the world spiritually. And so here comes the believer, the light of the world. You bring life to where there is darkness. Now, there's something special about your light. The light is that when your light goes forth, darkness does not have authority over your light. I'm going to say that one again. The darkness of this world, the darkness of the enemy, does not have authority over your light. The Bible talks about how the darkness cannot comprehend the light. So now we're, we're connected to a sovereign God who places the light inside the spirit-filled believer. The light that illuminates and overcomes the darkness also is a signal and indication that God has sovereign authority. So it seems like darkness is everywhere, but darkness must respect the light of the believer. I think that's wonderful. The darkness of this world, this spiritual darkness of this world, must respect the, the light of the spirit-filled believer. When you look at it from that standpoint, when you look at it from a kingdom standpoint, oh, you really can have joy that the Lord has placed a portion of his power, a portion of his authority in your being, in your life, and that you, through the light, can impact the world. And I tell you, this is what Christianity is all about, impacting the world, being a representative for the kingdom of God. And what, what more brilliant, bright way to say to the world that you are a child of God is through the light. Jesus is the light of the world. The Bible, Jesus says, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall be witnesses of me. Since Jesus was the light of the world, he's ascended back to God the Father, and now there is the church, and the church is the light of the world. That's the most important thing about being a Christian, being a believer in this world, is that we are the light. Even take it a step further, the world is in a troubled state. The world is in embroiled in conflict confusion, war, shootings. Yes, but you are the light of the world. I'm going to conclude on this. You're the light of the world. Your light has authority. Your light has power. <laughs> I love that one. Your light has authority. Your light has power. Celebrate your light. Celebrate what God has given you. Celebrate what God has called you to do and illuminate your context. Therefore, you are being the effective believer 
in Christ Jesus. Well, I pray that you were blessed by that. And maybe you do not have a relationship with the Lord. Well, I tell you, if you pray this simple little prayer, you and a, the Lord will come into your life, bring forth transformation. You can be filled with the Holy, Holy Spirit. Therefore, you will be a light of the world. Just pray this with me. Lord, I believe that you are the son of the living God. And I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that God the Father raised you from the grave. Forgive me of all my sins. Make me a new creature. Bring forth transformation. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. I want to be the light of the world. This I pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer, you're saved from sins. And I just want to urge you, receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit into your life. And therefore, you will be a part of the ranks of those who are illuminating their context for Jesus Christ. Blessings to you. 